Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm finally going to share with you my unboxing and review of my first pan pastel set. Okay, so throughout this video I'm going to tell you what they are, the reason I decided to try them, my first impressions about them, my thoughts after using them for a portrait, and if I recommend them or not. How are these pastels different from normal soft pastel sticks? This is what they claim. They say that this unique pan format changes everything. The main difference that I have seen is that... Okay, the main difference obviously is that they are applied similar to paint. Uh, not with a brush, but with their own soft tools that I'll show you in a minute. The second difference is that they are a lot cleaner to use than normal pastels. I mean, you won't even get your fingers dirty when using them. And they also make almost no dust, unlike normal pastels. So if you're one of those people that hate pastels because of how messy they are, maybe you should try these. And the last difference that I can see is that they are really easy to store, also unlike normal pastel sticks. And here they say that they are erasable, but honestly I didn't try that, so I cannot tell. As many of you might know, I really like drawing portraits with colored pencils. But now that I make them for my YouTube channel, I have the pressure of time. I have a deadline so I cannot take as much time as I want to finish them. And for me, blending skin tones with colored pencils take forever. So I thought about using mixed media to save some time, and pan pastels are supposed to be great for base layers, especially for portraits. These are the two tools that come in the 20 set. One is round and the other one is a bit more squared. I must say that I was completely shocked to see that there is only one lid for five colors. I mean, each color doesn't have its own lid. But fortunately I found that they sell the individual lids, so I'm definitely getting those. I also found that they have these kind of like trays to put each color, and I'm definitely getting those because whenever I'm painting, I need to see like all of my colors to pick the one I need, and it drives me completely insane to have to put them all out to find the color I need. I honestly had no clue which is the best paper for pan pastels, 
So I tried them on some different types that I had at home. This first one is watercolor hot pressed paper. It is really smooth but still has some tooth. Then probably my favorite pastel paper, the velour paper from the brand Hannah Mühle. The very popular pastel mat. Ingres pastel paper, also from the brand Hannah Mühle. And finally, also one of my favorites, is this premium sanded paper from the brand UART. I thought that the 400 grit might damage the soft tools, so I'm trying only the 800 grit, which is the smoothest. My first impression when trying them is that it is super satisfying to apply the color, at least for me. And I also noticed that you don't need to use so much pigment to get a perfect even coverage. And that is really nice because, for example, whenever I'm using pastel mat or sanded paper and I want to get like an even perfect background or underpainting, what I must use is a solvent. I either use vodka or water because using pastel sticks is not very practical for doing this. But with these pen pastels, you wouldn't really need to use any solvent. Another first impression is that they are really easy to blend with each other, like making this kind of um, smooth gradient is actually pretty effortless. As you can see, the papers that are taking the color in better are the pastel mat and the sanded paper. I wonder why the velour doesn't, because with normal pastel sticks, they just look really vibrant and beautiful. Now I'm gonna show you what really surprised me and was kind of a disappointment. You can see now how I'm trying to use pastel pencils over my base layer. With sanded paper, there was absolutely no problem, but with all the other papers, it just didn't work. I was really shocked and even made a small research and found a video by Jason Morris where he explains why this happens. I'll leave a link to his video down below. But basically he says that if you want to use pan pastels as a base layer, you should make it super thin and not saturated like I did here. After trying with pastel pencils, I tried to do it with colored pencils and it seemed to work a bit better, but not 100% how I expected. I really wonder if I am the one doing something wrong, because I have seen other artists here on YouTube using them as a base layer and have absolutely no problem. Maybe I'm not using the proper paper. I will experiment with different papers, and as soon as I find the perfect one, I will make a video about it. Now you know the reason why I made this portrait on sanded paper. Painting the background with the pan pastels was super easy and quick, and I got a beautiful gradient of grays. I also used the pan pastels to paint a base layer for the skin and the clothes. After that, I tried to draw details as much as I could with the pan pastels and some pastel pencils, but it wasn't really working. Cristiano was looking like a doll at this point. So then I started using colored pencils for all the details and it worked pretty well. So overall the pen pencils do serve me for what I bought them, but I am still going to try them out on other papers because this sanded paper is not really my favorite for colored pencils, 
uh, just because it has way too much tooth. Okay, now to finish, do I recommend them? Well, that depends on what you need them for. Like any other art media, it has pros and cons. I think that the best way to use them is definitely with mixed media and not by themselves. If you use colored pencils and you would like to try them out for backgrounds or base layers for skin tones like I do, I would recommend that you get the two or three colors that you use the most. This way you save time and you won't waste your colored pencils. Pen pastels are sold in small packs of five, three and even individually. So that is all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching, I hope you find it useful and I'll see you down in the comment section.